you know, you can ask somebody, can I look at a ceramic pottery? And you can see that you can see the difference. There's a difference in the weight. The ceramic pottery is very, very, very white. And so there's a with the natural clays, there's going to be a little bit of a tinge on it. It's not going to be completely white. You'll generally find um, uh, a scar from the forming of the pottery in the ceramics on the bottom, where where it was actually poured. Um, and so you can look for that. Um, it just takes kind of looking at pottery constantly to where you can at least get an idea of what's real and what's not. Um, and you know that's really all the the storyteller clay that they use has kind of a pink tinge on it so you'll see a little bit of pink in in the clay itself and even after it's fired it's got kind of a little uh, like a soft pink hue about it so that's another way you can tell um, there's just hundreds of ways to cheat on the pottery you know that that you learn kind of along the way that people do um, you know simple things like you take a you can make a traditional pottery but you take a ceramic and you can use that, you can grind that into a powder and you can use that as a slip in order to make the pottery really, really white, which is what a lot of people want. They want to see that white color. So it's a traditional clay pottery, but it's using ceramic means to make it look better. Um, ceramic paints um, are another thing, how to seal cracks using um, coke. You know, if, if a pot cracks when it's still wet, and there's a slight fissure in it, you can put coke in there because the sugars will melt when you fire it and it'll seal the pottery up. So there's just there's a lot of little tricks that, that I've learned that people use, you know, to make their their pottery um, you know work for them basically. You know the different paints I think the painting is probably the most important to people um, and the different colors that they find um, and that's because you know the pinks are really rare or blues you know I've seen so many different colors of paint um, that people think are ceramic paints but they're actually natural paints um, and when you get those colors, you know, you don't want to tell anybody else where to get them or how to process them because that's kind of unique to your pottery. Maybe three or four days ago, but what you do is you take that and you boil it. Um, stick it in a big pot of water, all the leaves. Um, you can use the stems if you want, but generally we'll just take the leaves and put it in a big pot of water and then just boil it for hours and hours and what it'll do is it'll eventually um, all the water will boil out and all the pigment from the plant turns into that it's like a tar um, and then you take that and then you um, add some water to it and that's what produces the black paint southwestern art is is really unique to the people here um, you see pottery uh, you see basket making, you see um, woodworking, um, you see a lot of different forms, but it's specific to the individual tribe. Pottery um, is created in, in pretty much all the pueblos throughout New Mexico, but you can see different styles that, that have been utilized over the centuries, basically. Uh, and so people continue to um, evolve with their process. They get more creative. Some like the old style. Some are moving to more contemporary forms of pottery and their work. Um, art in general in the Southwest I think in its purest form is very beautiful. Um, a lot of it is commercial now where you're producing you know you have to produce so many uh, X amount of pottery or so many jewelry pieces or whatever you're looking at in order to make ends meet and so I think in that it's kinda of lost what it originally was there for and a lot of these were there for utility you know for storing water for storing seeds for um, food you know they were they were there they had a purpose and it's it's gotten away from that quite a bit but the basic principle is still there it's about you know about the art um, and so that's really what I enjoy about it um, in making that and so um, you know the southwestern art is just unique to to where we are at um, and it's a different uh, culture that produces different pottery um, and you're just not going to find really anything quite like it anywhere in the United States or anywhere in the world